you saw last week's video, you would see that um, I had to track Woody down a couple of times. And this week, I want it a little bit smoother. I had plenty of time last week, so I wasn't too worried about flying him at higher weights. But this week, I've brought him down about a quarter of an ounce, just to uh, see if we can get an edge on him. It's good to, um, if you can each day, get your hawk on your fist, <clears throat> keep him on there for a little while, wander about, do what you've got to do, so he gets really used to it. Because I've noticed even getting him out of the mews now, he's not getting on my fist like he used to. Now, the other thing is this year, he's not calling at all either. He's gone silent. So it may be something to do with that as well. So we've just met another dog during our little walk up here. Well, he's had a bit of a protest there. And I know that throws him out a little bit, so all these things can make a difference. Hoping now that he's gonna follow on. He may not straight away, but I do not want to go on a, a massive hike again for this hawk. So I am reducing that weight a little bit now, just trying to find that sweet spot. The nighttime temperatures have dropped down, so it's a little quicker to burn the weight off during the night, easier to get the weight management sorted or quicker. It's when it's warm, it's really difficult, it takes a long time, but there's a lot more food being used during a cold night. The next day, you can see the weights come off. Let's just see whether what he's responding straight away because my little dog's in there flushing around now the patterdale well that's better than the other day leave so i can see from that we're getting there little bit uh, closer to that what you call the flying weight which is what we should be doing really so now what I want to see is will he follow on because at higher weights he will do his own thing and go off where he thinks food will be Jackdaws there having a little fly around Woody. So as yet he's not following on as he should be. So I'm gonna bring him down a touch more for tomorrow. So you can see the hawk there is looking for me now. So there's a far better response, and that is not a lot of weight drop. And we're, we're about almost there now, I'd say. But this hawking business with um, parasorts can either be a nightmare, and they're self hunting, and you're following them all over the country, which is not really what it's all about. Or you get them at the right weight, just like that, and they're a bit more loyal. Hopefully you can see now the difference from yesterday's even better response.
I didn't have Woody hooded now, his wings would be out and he'd be getting lift and trying to go off. And this hood was made by a guest of what would have been then a guest of Her Majesty's pleasure. And what a good job he done. And uh, it would be great to um, it would be great if he knew that his hood that he made was being used by Woody, I'm sure. And let's hope that the falconry experience that he had maybe put him on the straight and narrow. Maybe uh, he came out of there and started flying hawks himself. Who knows? I'm gonna take the hood off. Again, he's looking for a bit of food, look. Because that's what I've been doing. Steady. Steady. Still got the hawk hooded at the moment. all around now see if he can spot anything call him in good boy there you go you've done well there mate didn't you hey didn't you do well Sorry mate, I think it's gone. Raven there. I'd like to see the old ravens. Okay, today we're going to fly the hawk off the fist, see if we can get something in this field. We'll see what happens. Never guaranteed. Dogs on point.
was that was a looked to be a snipe I didn't expect that but the hawk baited for it so I let him go it's just good to see him working there might not be nothing there give it up Bo give it up Bo where's it that dog he really is switching on to all this though so look at that lovely point there taste in the air Something's been here, I think. Giddy up then. Yeah, old scent. Oh, look at that lot. What he wants to go for. Ah, oh. call the dog off. Okay, we've had a, unfortunately, a few pheasants get up too far away. Hawk wanted to go, but I know he's not going to catch them. He just chased them all the way across the other side of the road. So I want to get, get him on a close one, but not something that he's going to go miles on. City's going the right way. It's giving up. That's okay. He's on a pheasant there, I'm sure. There you go. Oh! Don't go over the road. Don't go over the road. Lovely point. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Come on. Where is it? Get it up. Come here. Right, I can hear the hawk calling. So he's marking something. First time I've heard him do it this year. But it's calling, I think he's letting me know. So, Lana, why don't that get over there? He's on this gauze. Hopefully you better hear him calling in a minute. Let's see if we can get that moving. You'll hear him calling. I need the little dog. Where is he? There he is, he's a bit late. You'll hear him calling. We get it, Woody. Where's Chewy? Come here, bug. Oh, he's... Woody, it's calling me over, and we flushed that pheasant out, so that's really enforcing the teamwork there. Got to find Woody now, he's gone down there somewhere. Can't see the hawk, not using my telemetry yet. Trying to listen for the bows. 
Right, we can hear the bells down in here, you might call it. How do we get in there? Okay, he's got it. Keep on, Woody. Keep on, Woody. So he's got a cock pheasant there. He done well getting that and hanging on to it whilst uh, I arrived to help him out. So what a ideal partnership that was. It's uh, been a great session today. We've had a lot of action going on and Woody's scored himself a pheasant. I know you want to get in there, Chewy. Let him have a good old pluck of that. Chewy's cleaning me all the little uh, sticky bits and pieces off. There's some on my boots, mate. That he's grooming me down, look, clean, cleaning all the uh, prickly bits off for me. Well done, mate. Thank you. So it's been a bit of an exhausting one today. <coughs> oh, what's that? Mate? We've been over hills and down dales, but we've had quite a a good hunt today off the fist and uh, hope you enjoyed it and I think as the season goes on we'll be doing some more of this sort of game hawking stuff um, don't know we'll see what it develops into but it's certainly hard work flying the hawk when you're on hilly ground through the brambles through the woods so we're going to go home now and we both and have a nice cup of tea you can have a drink can't you mate we're smothered and all these little sticky things. Woody's got a full crop. Let's go home, Woody. We'll see you next time.